Okay, Jerry, here's an update for you since you've been asking about this place. We're in the uh, lovely southwestern Pennsylvania town of Moneston. It has its good and bad places like any town, but here's what we got going on here. Man, I'm surprised this scrap's still laying there, being in the part of town we're in. So I'll walk around back here. This all was added on at some point. I have no idea when. Uh, but this house was bought, my buddy bought it in a uh, sheriff's cell for back taxes. And it's, it's a work in progress, but there's the old kitchen table. It's now a cut table. But here's what I did yesterday. Took this old door out. This thing is solid too. All wood. It was right here. So I frame this in. Put a sheet of plywood up. And being, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta think like a criminal. And like, if somebody wanted to, they could come with an impact. Take the screws out with the Phillips head. But I put about eight of these type of screws in with a T25 star head. So unless you got that in your repertoire, you're shit out of luck if you want to break in. <laughs> but if somebody wants in the place, they're going to get in. And this is a nightmare here. This chimney, it's a beautiful chimney top. But look where that valley is for the roof and this gable runs into it. It's nothing but a water trap. This roof needs redone too. Three tab shingles. Boy, that ladder seen better days. Just like that lawnmower. Look at that. Good old uh, West Virginia, or depending on what state, Oklahoma Chrome does the trick every time. So here's the porch on the side. I have no idea what the hell that, I didn't even see this written on there. Oh well, you can pause and read it if you want. So, obviously that's a pile of old trim paneling from inside of the house. Hey Corey, if you need a new mattress, it's free, you just gotta pick it up. <laughs> so we'll go inside here. Like I said, don't mind the appearance. It's a work in progress, but this place had massive termite damage. Replaced whatever I could wood-wise. Let me flip the light on. How do you like this light? That is an old lamp that was in this place. And our electrician rigged it up to give us temporary lighting. So, hey, MacGyver. So, this is mainly all drywall. I'm going to finish that little part up today. This room is drywalled this wall and I, I uh you know anytime if the ceiling's under eight foot stack your run your sheets vertically that way you only have one one seam to finish and it's the tapered edge you know factory seam so it just makes it easier for finishing and uh this room's just getting a couple patches where Somebody got angry and punched holes in the wall. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and this is all new staple up, just cheap uh, ceiling tile. And I'm going to start finishing this back room too. The only reason I did this piece horizontally is because it's, it's under eight foot. And it's always easier to finish a seam when you're joint compounding. That's, I don't know, to me, running vertically, or not vertically, horizontally instead of vertical. So, yeah, here's where that door is on the back of the house. I mean, it's covered over and, you know. So, what else we got here that I can show you? You know, I'm just doing this in my spare time. This ain't my day job. My day job, you see the other projects I do, they're a lot... A lot higher end than this, but hey, works work and keeps me out of trouble. So this is the kitchen. It, it needs like, yeah, lots of work. 
so and then there's a new set of stairs that we built put in like this oh there's just there's a lot of work needs done but there's no time frame on this place you know it's just whenever i can get to it i can get to it and that's about it so and if I, one day, uh, looking out the window there, I'm going to have to get a video at night uh, of the flame at the Cleveland Cliffs Coke plant here in Manassa. It's pretty cool. I guess it burns off the uh, excess impurities or whatever from the, uh, the furnace where they're making the Coke. So, I don't know. Other than that, uh, everybody have a good evening. A good Sunday night.